Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome to yet another video in the channel. In this one, we will get started working with creating the post detail components and we'll be fetching data via the API and displaying them onto the components. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. I want you to begin by opening up your code editor. And right now you'll see that when we click on any of this post, it opens up the post detail, right? As soon as we open up the post detail, we want to grab this log over here and make a call to the API endpoints that fetch that will fetch posts based on their detail, or rather based on their slog, and we'll set it to the state and display the information here. It's actually quite simple, it's not complex. So, how do we do this? Begin by opening up the detail JSX. And now in the detail JSX, all we just need to do is go ahead, create new states. And fetch posts. I'm sure we already have done this in the last one where we created posts and also set posts and pass this to use date and initialize it to an empty array. So after you have done this, you can also go ahead and do the same thing for tags. So you can say const tags and sets tags. And this should be use state. And I also want to set it as an empty array. Now, there's one more thing I want to do. I want to say param should be equal to use param. And now you might be asking, what does this do? So use param automatically gets whatever the URL parameter is. In our case, some title. Now, using this param, we will be able to make a call to the API. So let's say fetch posts should be, I want to make it an async and now all we just need to do is go ahead and call the API. So I'm going to define a variable response and say await API instance dot get and the endpoints that we want to make a call to will be post slash detail slash then we need to call the parameter. So param dot slog. Okay. And then we need to go ahead and set post. So set posts to response the data. All good. So after this, let's also go ahead and work with the with the tags. It's just a little bit complex. But I'm gonna say tag array should be equal to response the data. Please append the check over here. Dot tags dot split so i want to split the tags at comma so in case you don't understand let me explain when we give users the opportunity to enter tags they enter it like this food um apple hello so i want to grab this long line of tags separated with commas and i want to split them so immediately we see a comma we take this and add it into the array. Immediately we see a comma, we take this and add it into the array. That's how it works. Okay, so that's what our line of code does. So after you've done that, go ahead and set tag, set tags to tag array. I hope this makes sense, guys. It's as simple as this. So now we just need to call use effect, and then we need to go ahead Initialize it with an empty dependency and then call the fetch posts just like this. So after you've done that, you can see that immediately we make a call to the API here and it returns a 200 status code, which means everything is okay. So all we just need to do is change things up. Instead of this tell, instead of this 10 telltale signs, you need to get a new startup. All you just need to say is posts.title. Then you can see it shows over the introduction to React. Now, if you don't want it to be text center, you can remove this, but it comes over here, which is a little bit weird. So let's just leave it as text center. Then you could also go ahead and change up the description. So um, for the description, um, before we do that, let's change up the informations here. Then we'll focus on working on the description. So we are starting with the image which is this one here. So I want you to say 
post dot profile dot image okay seems like i don't actually have any image over there let me log into my profile destiny and see image doesn't exist for that let me upload a new image for myself and i'm looking for an avatar image now let me go with that save get back here and reload this page and now i should have an image okay there is an issue trust me it seems like this is a yeah you see i said it so please add a check over here i i knew it's going to be a, an issue related to the checks and also the same thing should apply to to the name Lewis Ferguson. So instead of image, please go ahead, make it a full name. And write out a desk fix should pretty much be, be the bio. Okay. So this should be bio or we just show an empty string. Okay. So there you go. I don't have any bio. Now you see it's an empty string. So for the date and all this other information, so let's change it. Let's change that up. So over here, I will import moment and I will just say post the date. Five minutes read. I don't think I actually have anything for that. So I will just comment this one out for now. And likes. Do we have anything for likes? Yeah, let's go ahead and call posts dot likes dot length dot length. All right, one like and also for the views post dot view so post dot views there you go 20 views now for the tags all we just need to do is loop through the array and show the tag over there Sim simple as that so how do we do that remove every other tag that we have and just tip a one which we will loop through and i just want you to say tags dot map tag and put paste that down there and i want you to take add an index here so that we can add a key here and take this tag and put it here so instead of this we should have this so then do we have seems like we don't even have any tag for this post so let me go ahead and open up the post Introduction to jump to react and okay you see we don't actually have any field tag for this so if you want you can go ahead and add a field tag let me show you guys how to do that open up the model api and over here alongside the title you, you can just add tags okay then i want you to make this one null should be true blank should be true then you also need to add this to the serializer okay please do not miss that so open up the post serializer where is it where is it all right we are returning all so that's very very good all you just need to do is go ahead and run your make migrations and migrates python manage py make migrations and also python manage py my great all good so that's then go ahead and run your server. So when you have done this, we can now open up the model, we refresh it again, and you can see that we can now add tags. So let's say I want to add cake, vanilla, food, save that. And if we get back here and reload this page, let's see what we have. See, cakes, vanilla, food, perfect. So there, there you go, that is done. Let's go ahead and change up the description. So, um, let me see. Okay. In the back to the detail JSX, I'm looking for the description. This is it here. So you could go ahead and remove all this and just stick with one P. Okay. So P and over here, all I just need to say is post dot description. And then see introduction to React. It's just one simple thing. That is because we don't have many things over there for the description. Let's say I want to add Lorem 200. And then I'm going to take all that Lorems and put it in here as description. Okay. So that we can have a mock up for description. I'll save this. 
and reload this. There you go. Now, can you see that we now have the descriptions coming in? So there you go. That is pretty nice. That is okay. Now, we don't have anything for related posts yet, so I'll just comment that out. Okay, now this is also what we have over here. Now, since you already have the same thing here, you could get rid of it here. It's totally up to you if you want to leave it or if you want to get rid of it, okay? But for me, I will just get rid of it. I don't need that for now. Now, I think we are actually done. We can start working with the with the comments in the next tutorial. Let me get rid of this so that I can comment this out perfectly well. Okay, so in the next video, we'll start working with the comments. I think I actually need a HR here. Okay, there you go. So we'll start working with listing the comments and also leaving a comment. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If there is something you think we can do to make this better, to make it more professional, then please drop your ideas in the comment section below. That would be really, really appreciated as we will make this blog application even more advanced. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, my love, peace out.